So glad that you guys are able to join us tonight. Um, a couple of reminders before we get into it. This is about the vows, so this is the time for all your juicy questions, all of your things you want to know um, about the sisters. Uh, my name is Sister Louise Busby. I work in Indianapolis at St. Vincent's Hospital. I am a staff chaplain and I work in the area of neurology and medical surgery. Hi, my name is Sister Roberta Trepa and I'm on mission in Macon, Georgia. I'm the director of Family Advancement Ministries, which is a social service agency for families with young children under age six and women who are pregnant. Hi, my name is Sister Catherine Brown and I'm on mission in Austin, Texas. And I work for the Seton Healthcare family. I do case management for people who are pre-diabetic and diabetic in our clinics for people who don't have insurance. I'm Sister Katie Klein. I live at St. Vincent's in Evansville, Indiana. As Daughters of Charity, we are a Society of Apostolic Life, which makes us a little bit different from, from regular nuns and sisters in that our call and our vows are bring us to our service. It isn't just that we take our vows to for a form of perfection or for canon law. We take our vows so that they all add and we live in community for service. And our vows are annual, so we take them every year instead of making perpetual vows. And we make four vows instead of three. We make vows of poverty, chastity, obedience, and service to persons who are poor. Renovation Day is an opportunity or a privilege, really, to say yes again in community, internationally, not just repeat the same vow script every year, but to come to a deeper awareness and experience of them and of our total gift of self to God. The community takes a special day of retreat uh, before renovation each year, a day to reflect upon our vows, how we live them out, the challenges, the gifts, the joys, a day to remember Mary's yes, and a day to reflect on what my yes means to me. And I think we all say yes you know, every day when we wake up as a, as a daughter of charity and enter into another day of, of community and of ministry um, and ask for the guidance and the graces to do what we do. Um, but Renovation Day is um, a special day when we say yes together. Um, some for the first time, some for the 80th time. Um, <laughs> but it's a really powerful day for everybody. Well, I made my first vows in 1956. Oh. And then 58 times I have yeah. made my vows. And it's, oh. um, it's a, a wonderful experience. And um, every year, I look forward to the Feast of the Annunciation for the renovation. And there's never been a time when I have been tempted to say no. The vow of chastity for us is a very special uh, gift. It's an intentional choice that I know I have made to relate to God's people. It's beautiful and it's the radical way to live the life as a daughter of charity showing love through prayer, uh, community life, and serving the poor. All of this is to spread the gospel message of God. Knowing that we are living in community means I, I'm not in this by myself. I'm with, this, uh, with other sisters who have chosen to serve the poor and to care for them and to love them. And me personally, this choice is a gift of love. The gift that God has uh, chosen for me and invited me to, I always say to myself, I know God has a hold on me, and I hope that he will never let me go. Well, the vow of poverty frees me. It helps me to be, to be detached from material things, and it helps me to live a simple life. Poverty helps us to help other people when, when we are generous with others. God is more than generous with us. To talk about obedience, I thought I'd share something that comes from our constitutions, which are the rules that we choose to live by and, and are the explanation of the vows that we make. And so when it talks about obedience, it says, all obedience and faith is patterned on the attribute of the Son of God, 
who to carry out the Father's loving plan became obedient unto death and death on a cross. And so that's where our obedience comes from. It comes from not doing my will, but doing God's will. There are many communities um, of sisters who serve the poor, but they don't take a vow of service to the poor. Um, but this is something that is really specific to the Daughters of Charity. Um, this is really um, why we were founded. Uh, back when we were founded, at that time, religious communities were cloistered. And we are called to serve those who are poor, who are those most vulnerable um, population. And those on the, on the city streets, those, there are many forms of poverty. So much of Pope Francis speaks to why we make our vows of poverty, chastity, obedience, and service to the poor. He continually reiterates what you've heard each of these sisters say, that we are called to love and really live as disciples of Jesus. So it is really neat to be so connected with the church and be able to respond through our vows as daughters to what Pope Francis is calling us to. He's a Jesuit, but I kind of feel like he's an ascension. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're all from Jesus, so you know, yeah. we're all on the same team. 